What's up everyone? It's Denise Salcedo. You are watching the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel and ahead of UNF15, I'm here with Rosario Romero. Rosario, you're going to be making your Up Next Fighting debut at UNF15. Oh boy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited. Um, I'm ready to put on a show and um, just... I can't really, t uh, really talk that much because I want to jinx myself and I just want to get this fight over with, so let's go. I love it. I'm sensing a little superstitions from you. Are you a little superstitious? Yeah, uh, just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to get this fight on, under my belt and uh, we'll take it th to the next step after that. So let me ask you, you know, with UNF, uh, getting to be here, like what's been your experience so far? What's been your impression of Up Next? Up Next is honestly the by far the most professional uh, promotion I fought for personally, but um, I'm, I I used to like no not used to I I kind of shop around uh, what promotions are out there and um, to see what's out there the quality, but uh, definitely UNF is uh, up there the very top. I love that, man. It's so cool to hear guys like yourself and so many others come in and be like, we're having the best time here at UNF, and it's so cool. And everybody has said the same thing along the lines of they treat the fighters with a yes. lot of respect, and I love hearing that from the athletes themselves. So, you know, tell us a little bit about your journey. I know that um, prior to uh, UNF that you are undefeated. You've had four fights. You haven't lost any. Talk to us about your journey in mixed martial arts. Well, my journey in mixed martial arts, uh, it's fairly short, I would say, but not really. Really, I'm, I'm, I think, five years in, in February. Uh, my, four, my first four fights, they're all stoppages, but uh, I, obviously I can, I can improve on, on my ground, my striking, everywhere. But uh, I'm just here to make a statement and um, make my name heard and known. So how'd you get started, man? Like, what, where did this all happen for you? Where did the love of mixed martial arts start for you? So I took my first kickboxing class when I was about, I think, 11 years old. I, w I did pretty well. Um, I'm, a, I'm a natural at it, but I kind of... I took a I took a wrong road, and um, my friend uh, Chris Avijas he actually uh, told me to come to the gym one time. He knew that I was you know pretty savvy with uh, with my fighting a little bit before fighting, and um, he got me in the gym. And then I just said you know what I'm gonna dedicate my life to something because I never did before, and this is the, honestly the best decision I've ever made in my life. Man, I love that. What would you say like what kind of person are you when you're in the cage? Um, uh, I'm mean. I'm mean, aggressive, and um, uh, you, got, you guys have to see it for yourself. So I, we, you were, you're mean in the cage. Yeah. Uh, what kind of person are you? Or not, not what kind of person, but who are you outside of the cage? Like, what can we expect Rosario to be doing, like, on the weekend? What are the hobbies? What's it? Uh, so me, I'm honestly, like, I would say I'm very, uh, very funny, I would say. Um, I'm like, like, I'm not mean. Yeah, I'm not mean. I'm only mean in the cage. Uh, funny. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, easygoing, easy, easy to talk to. I, lo I love to run. Um, I'm always trying to help somebody, you know, whoever needs some, if somebody needs somebody to talk to, I'm that guy. Uh, I'm not perfect, you know. Everybody makes mistakes, but it's about learning from your mistakes. But other than that, I would say I'm, you, can, you can come up to me. I'm, I'm easy to talk to, honestly. And what would you say is the goal for you for this year in 2024? So for, for, for my main focus right now is the next fight. And then after this, I'm uh, my, my, my coach, Chad George, he's going to uh, uh, have me uh, try out for the USA team for the EMOF, for, uh, International MMA uh, Federation. And hopefully I get in that in the bag and so I can uh, hop on the team, uh, Team USA. So. so I've talked to a lot of guys that have trained here with Chad George, yeah. including Chad George himself, several times here now. Um, what's the experience been like, you know, working with him? I know that a lot of guys always talk to me about how he kind of keeps your head on straight, you know, helps you a lot with the mental aspect of MMA. Uh, what's your experience been like with Chad? Honestly, Chad has really upped my game in so many ways, uh, so many ways that I have never knew I could improve on. He has my mentors right. He made sure that I'm properly well-rounded before I hop back in the cage. And um, I just, I'm, honestly, I'm so grateful that my life and my journey led to CMMA. Mm -hmm. And to have him and all the coaching staff, everybody in CMMA is a dog, so don't count us out. I get my butt whooped every day in the gym. And uh, I can say that proudly to all my gym members, my gym, my gym team members. Thank you so much for uh, helping me get ready for this fight. And um, let's put it on for CMMA. I love it, man. Well, on that note, thank you so much to Rosario. We will catch you guys on the next video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel.